Hi, I'm Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. Today we're going to go through the Kansas classic, Dust in the Wind. This is a great song for somebody learning fingerstyle guitar. The right hand pattern is very common. You can hear it in a lot of different songs. Uh, this is in the key of C, and I hope you enjoy this lesson on how to play Dust in the Wind by Kansas. We're going to do close-ups on the left hand and the right hand, and we'll break it down really slow. Have a great day. Thanks for visiting us at GuitarReferenceGuide.com. The intro for Dust in the Wind. Okay, so we're going to start with a C chord. And with the right hand, we're going to be playing our thumb on the A, our middle finger on the B string. I'm going to pluck those simultaneously. Thumb on the D. Index on the G. That's the first uh, four notes, or three notes. Come back to the A string, the thumb. Middle finger grabs the B string. Thumb hits the D. Index hits the G. One more time. Simultaneously, the A and the B, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index. D string, G string, A string, B string, D string, G string. So the rhythm would sound like this. One and a two E and a. One more time. One and a two E and a. The good news is this pattern goes throughout the song, it doesn't change much. First finger comes off to make a C major 7, same pattern with the right hand. Pinky comes down to make a C add 9. Index finger comes down to make a C again. One more time. C add 9, back to C. A, a sus 2, it's like an A minor chord but without your index finger, just open B. Pinky comes down to make an A sus4, same pattern with the right hand. Index comes down to make the A minor, back to the sus2. Then we start with a C add 9, so like the C with the pinky. C, C major 7, back to the C add 9. C now, sus2, sus4. C, and on this last couple, on this last measure, we're just going to go C. We're going to play these two together, or A minor, sorry. In thumb, thumb index, and then we're going to play just the, the A and the B string. And second finger, second fret on the A, pinky, third fret on the B. And that brings us into the verse. So, now be the last half of the last measure of the, of the uh, the intro. So one more time. Play it really slow. Start with the C chord, same pattern. G with a B in the bass, second finger, second fret, pinky on the third fret of the uh, B string. Do an A minor chord. Now you're going to play, um, instead of playing from the B string, you're going to use your third finger to play the high E string to start. Still playing the A string, same time. And then the pattern stays the same after that. In the second half of the measure, it's, this, it's the same. You play from the B this time. So that sound like this. And from the B. Now we go to the G chord, third finger, on the third fret of the low E string. You're going to be playing from the B string. 
Now we're gonna play uh, the same, this pattern's the same, but we're just using our thumb to play from the E string instead of the A string, but all the other strings are the same in the fingers. We're gonna play a D minor seven now. Bar the first fret with your index finger, second finger, second fret on the G string. We're gonna bring our, our fingers down. Thumb's gonna be grabbing the D, middle finger's gonna be grabbing the, uh, the, the high E. And then thumb's gonna grab the G, index on the B, thumb back on the D, middle on the high E, and then thumb on the D. So this pattern changes a little bit. And then we're back to the A minor. And the A minor, we're also gonna grab this from the high E again, just the first, uh, just the first half of the measure. We play these two notes again. The, uh, the A and the B, and then the G with the B in the bass. So that would sound like that. Now I'll play through that really slow. Now the second time through, it won't do this part. It's just gonna go all the way through the, the A minor, the same pattern. Now for the chorus, we're gonna play a D with an F sharp in the bass. Now we're gonna start with our thumb on the second fret of the low E string. Thumb's gonna grab the low E. Middle finger's gonna grab the B and everything else is the same. Now we're gonna go to G. Now we're going to go to A minor, but we're going to play an open B and we're going to hammer our first finger onto the first fret like that. So we're playing the B, B string and the high E string at the same time, and we're, at the same time we're hammering first finger onto the first fret of the B string. Pinky is going to grab the third fret of the low E string. It's kind of like a, a moving bass line, then we're back to the F. D with the F sharp in the bass, G, now we're going to hammer the A minor again, and we're going to play these two notes again from the A minor, back to the G with the B in the bass. So the chorus really slow, D F sharp in the bass, G, G. A minor, hammer, A minor, G in the bass. And then we're back to the verse. Interlude slash instrumental section. This part's really cool. Okay, first uh, first section, index finger, fifth fret on the G string, third finger, seventh fret on the D string. Same pattern we've been playing all along from the A and the B string. Now we're gonna flip flop our fingers. First finger, fifth fret of the D string, pinky's gonna go on the seventh fret of the uh, G string. Same pattern, the right hand. Move this whole thing down to the third fret. And then you're gonna hammer your, your second finger onto the second fret of the B string. And then you're gonna take it off. So it'll sound like that. Now, this is pretty difficult. So some, what some people do is instead of playing it like that, they might just play it like this. They might just bar that take it off. So instead of hammering, just flattening your index finger. That's another way to do it. You can't get the hammer in that way. One more time, real slow. Same right hand pattern.
the outro. So as you could tell, um, the outro never really sounds like it resolves, and that just repeats and fades. So the right hand pattern changes just a little bit. We're going to have an A minor chord. We're going to strum the A and the B at the same time, then thumb on the D, then third finger on the high E. One more time. Then we're all the way back to the A with our thumb, middle finger on B, thumb on the D, third finger on the high E. Really slow. Then A sus2, just index finger comes off, same pattern. Now we put our pinky down onto the third fret of the D string, or the B string. Index finger goes on the first fret of the uh, high E string. I'm back to A minor. And then that whole thing just keeps cycling. That's what's tricky about it. 